from the expansion of extremist groups and their worldwide recruitment policies. It has become evident that the threat of terrorism is not restricted to its region of origin anymore. The mass use of internet and social media has obscured the borders of extremism and has imposed an undeniable menace to global peace. A latest report by the European Foundation for South Asian Studies or EFSAS discusses that information sharing has assisted in the dissemination of extremist beliefs across the globe at a faster pace and has appeared as an important tool in the radicalization of individuals and their subsequent recruitment as terrorists. Terrorist organizations have progressively taken advantage of these platforms to convey their agenda and achieve their goals, says FSAS report. In particular, looking closely at Al-Qaeda and Islamic State, the report um, explains how uh, both groups are focusing on uh, the vilification of the West, the uh, encouragement of uh, Muslims to engage in jihad, and the branding of uh, those who are deemed unbelievers as kafirs. Terrorist groups like Al-Qaeda, Lashkar-e-Taiba and Islamic State and Taliban are at the forefront of using the internet for their recruitment and expansion purposes. One prominent example is the opportunistic and perplexed level of technology LAT militants were relying on during the Mumbai 2008 attacks. One aspect uh, which uh, Lashkar e Taiba has uh, manifested through uh, their cunningness is the way they were able to um, operate during the Mumbai 2008 terrorist attacks. Lashkar e Taiba, uh, 12 years ago, was um, very opportunistic in the usage of digital technologies uh, during the perpetration of the attack, in particular through the uh, resort to GPS, satellite images, and uh, in order to locate in real time um, uh, people, in order to take decisions in real time how to proceed. Um, the group was further following on uh, the social media communication channels of uh, um, those present at the, at the scene uh, where, the, where they were hiding in order to find and kill them. Lashkar e Taiba has been organizing numerous online and offline social media workshops, which first provide the individuals with knowledge on how to exploit the online space in order to spread the LET ideology and its objectives, and second, directly incite youngsters to engage in anti India protests in the Kashmir Valley. A few of the strategies they deploy is the establishment of social media workshops, uh, both online and offline, trying to uh, teach and recruit and lure uh, vulnerable young disenfranchised men into joining their ranks. They further uh, developed even mobile applications and games such as the one, uh, one called Age of Jihad, which is in a, in a very uh, modern, in a very um, glamorizing way, is able to um, explain the objectives of the group. With the rise of terrorist incidents related to online radicalization, generating counter and alternative narratives and promoting media literacy strategies appear vital to the protection of human rights, freedom of expression, universal access to information and intercultural dialogue. The report by FSAS emphasizes that the suspension of extremist websites should indeed take place alongside with legal measures in order to send a message to terrorist groups that they cannot enjoy impunity in cyberspace. <laughs>